Welcome back to Scottish Movies and today I've got a parcel from Music Magpie and this is all Disney. Okay, so yeah, um, I recently checked out Music Magpie um, for Disney films, like your Disney classics. Again, like the sort of things I've been picking up, like, for example, things like this, Favourite Martian. Um, yeah, uh, that kind of thing. And yeah, I found loads of uh, titles on, on Music Magpie. Um, it probably works out about the same as what you pay in CX, but without the postage, because uh, most of them are generally... Go in CX for about £1.50 or two quid, but well, obviously get them on CX online, it's three quid postage. So this was a pretty good deal. I've got these ten titles in here, um, and this worked out for about uh, just about 21 quid, something like that. Uh, they were in sort of some of the deals where it was like four for eight quid or and, and some and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna open this up now and uh, we'll see what we've got. So I have made a little tear in the top. To make it a bit easier for me and I'm going to grab them out one at a time uh, yeah so okay so first title if I can get it out that's what she said is oh wow Heidi uh, yeah uh, not familiar with this one I know there's been loads of Heidi stories over the years um, but yeah, it's obviously a Disney version. Uh, stars is it Jason Robards. Yeah, Jason Robards and Jane Seymour. I don't know what year it's from. Probably sixties or something. But yeah, so that's the first one. That's Heidi. Next up, we have got the Adventures of Hook Finn. Uh, yeah, this is one of the stars. Um, Jason Robards in this as well, actually, and uh, Elijah Wood, Robbie Coltrane as well. Uh, I think this is from the mid 90s, um, obviously, Disney version of Hook Very Fair. I think they did two actually. Oh, well, I'll have a look on the disc on that one, so yeah, happy to have that one. Next up, we have got oh, this is an old one, uh, The Castaway Cowboy. Uh, this has got to be 60s or 50s or something, I'm not sure. Don't recognise anyone. Oh, James Garner, actually, is the main guy in it. I've heard of him. I don't know what it's about. Some sort of cowboy that's cast away, I suppose. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there you go. There's that one. Next up, we have got uh, what I think is another movie starring... Oh, no, this one stars Kurt Russell, actually. I was going to say Mark Wahlberg. I thought it was, but it stars Kurt Russell. Oh, it's on the front. Miracle. Uh, some sort of ice hockey one. Uh, probably similar to, like, the Mighty Ducks. But probably without the uh, comedy, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a true story of behind the 1980 ice ho USA night ice hockey team. Okay. The Olympics. That's cool. Kurt Russell. Uh, they, they think this one's from the 90s as well. I don't know. It doesn't say. But, yeah. That's cool. Next up we have got... Yeah, I haven't got a clue what this is. Uh, the Country Bears. <laughs> Looks like it might be a bit of fun. Um, that work on the desk there. Uh, I think this is from the late 90s or early 2000s. Disney's legendary group comes alive as the Country Bears star in the first feature film. Yeah, I'm not even familiar with the Country Bears, but yeah, grab that one. Uh, next up, we've got a bit of Dennis Quaid in The Rookie. Uh, yeah, not this one before. Um, this is actually a Region 1. That's unusual to get a Region 1 from um, uh, Music Magpie. But I can't play Region 1... Uh, DVD, so that's cool. Uh, 
uh, yeah, the rookie, that was your baseball one. Next up we have got, uh, oh, this has got a good cast in it. Uh, it's called Tall Tale, An Unbelievable Adventure. And this one stars Patrick Swayze, Scott Glenn and Oliver Platt. The wildest adventure the West has ever seen. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just got a plain disc in here. Uh, what year is this one from? Again, I don't know. It doesn't say on the back of these Disneys. I think it's 90s, actually, believe it or not. Well, yeah, Tall Tale. Uh, next up, we've got a film starring Danny Glover, Ray Liotta and Dennis Leary. Uh, yeah, this is a UK release. Operation Dumbo Drop. Don't know, but yeah, Disney title. Uh, something about moving elephants about, I think. I don't know, in the army. But yeah, good cast, so I look forward to checking that one out. Got two left, so yeah, to tell this is quite an epic haul. Uh, next up, we've got a film starring uh, Gabrielle Anwar. I think I've heard of her. Uh, it's called Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. Disney. Uh, I don't know. She's some sort of. Oh, there's something to do with horses. I don't know. What I can sell down there. Yeah. So yeah, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. Don't know what it's about, really. And the final one, uh, I think this is definitely from the 60s. Uh, this actually stars Ray Bolger. Now, I'm sure, is that the guy that was uh, in Wizard of Oz? He was the Lion or the Tin Man, I can't remember. I'm sure he's already, well, or even Scarecrow. He's definitely one, I'm sure he's definitely one of them. I recognise that name. Uh, it's called Babes in Toyland. Uh, who's the lady? Don't know. Uh, I can't tell. But yeah, um, Babes in Toyland. Was he from, like, say, the 60s or 50s or something? So, grab that one. And yeah, that is it. So, we've got quite an epic oh, uh, um of Disney tiles for the collection. Um, and some of these will be on some future Disney retro reviews, I'm sure. Um, so look forward to checking them out. Um, yeah, and that is it for this video. So yeah, I've I've, I've actually seen a couple more since uh, that we've got on um, on Music Magpie. So I will probably be placing another order for these. It works out a lot cheaper than from than trying to get them from CEX. Because it's like say, if they're not in my local CEX, even if it's like a quid on CEX, it costs me four quid if I get it get it online. So. Yeah, unless I find them in a charity shop locally, it's it's not happening. So to find them on Music Magpie, it's the new outlet for uh, Disney stuff. So um, I'm well pleased with that. Like I say, there will be a future order as well for quite at least half a dozen more. I think I've seen on there they don't own. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, so comment down below if you've seen any of these these films and what you thought of them. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for some more videos. Bye guys.